So today, we're gonna go save some huskies. Guess what we're doing today? You already know because I already told you. So we get a call from Harry Houdini Siberian Husky Rescue about a mom and her pups that needed rescue and transport. And you know, when we're asked to help, we have to jump in. So for this trip, we got to head down to Lansing, Michigan to pick up the mom and one of the male puppies. And as you listen to this, you're going to realize I'm calling the dogs puppies and not by their names because they didn't actually have names yet. But the mom's name was Charlie. As we headed down there, though, plans changed and we actually ended up with the mom, one male puppy and one female puppy to transport. Hey, puppies. Hi. <laughs> That's mama. Mama's name is Charlie. And these are babies. And they don't have names. One's a little boy and one's a little girl. Oh my god, that little girl could totally come home with me. Oh, oh that one's feisty. This one likes me. He's a feisty boy. We're friends. Already. We don't you guys should be thankful you don't have smell vision. Because you some stink of puppies. They, they pee me, we got oh, stink of puppies. I know. Hi babies. It's all right, we're going, I swear. Like I said, the mom's name is Charlie and she is just the sweetest thing. She's so tall, she's so pretty. As far as the story goes that we were told, she actually came from a not so great situation. Someone had tried to do the right thing and help save her, and it turned out that she was pregnant. So I believe that they ended up keeping her and letting her have her puppies, and then they reached out for help, and Harry Houdini came to the rescue. I think she had six puppies total, which, by the way, will be available for adoption if they aren't already, and so will the mom, Charlie. They're all going to be available for adoption through the Harry Houdini Siberian Husky Rescue, which I will put links for down in the video description below. So we were not prepared to be transporting two puppies, but thankfully both of them did fit into the smaller crate that I brought for the ride. I know many of you want to know why we didn't bring them home that's always the question we get asked when we do transport videos like this why didn't you bring them home why don't you adopt them why don't you take them well because our job was to transport them to their foster homes the way it works with the rescue is the dogs go into foster homes where they're evaluated and the foster families kind of figure out the dogs a little bit get to know their personalities and then they get listed for adoption they stay with the fosters until they're adopted and honestly if you guys are looking for a really great way to help your local rescue or shelter Fostering can be an amazing way to help with both dogs and cats that need homes. Fostering really allows the dogs to be evaluated in an in-home situation, and it gives them a better chance to decompress rather than being kept in a kennel at a shelter. So fostering is a really, really great way for you to help out, like I said, your local shelter or your local rescue. And transporting of animals like what we're doing here is another great way to help. The dogs needed help getting to the foster homes, and that's what we did today. I drove 600 miles to help save these three dogs. Not everybody was willing to do that, but we knew that we were the last hope, and we were the only ones that were going to make that crazy drive. Now, as I said, these dogs are going to be available for adoption, so if you live in or around the Michigan area and have been looking for a puppy or any age husky, really, the Harry Houdini Siberian Husky Rescue takes in dogs very, very regularly, and they're always looking for foster homes as well. So so even if you're not necessarily looking for adopt, but you want to be able to help, you should try fostering. I mean, it really is a rewarding thing to do. I will put some links down in the video description below if you're interested. So we transported the female puppy to her foster home, and then the mom, Charlie, and the male puppy, we actually transported to another transporter who then transported them to their foster homes. I believe they uh, it was like nine hours total or something like that from the time we picked them up to the time they made it to their foster home. So it was long day for those dogs and it really does take a lot of people to help make amazing things like this happen but in the end we were able to help all of the dogs all of the puppies went into foster homes and the mom went into foster home as well it was a long day but it was totally worth it if you want to see some of our past transport videos that we've done there will be some links at the end of this video and down in the video description below we hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you have any questions about fostering or transporting leave them down below and i'll do my best to answer them as always you guys thanks so much for watching thanks for subscribing stay positive dream big and we will see you again soon Goodbye, audience.